Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fourth episode of my RPG Maker VS Ace video tutorials. In this episode, I'm going to be going over inventing and how it's set up. So, inventing overview. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to be updated every time I release a video on this series or my let's make an open world RPG or my let's plays. If you've enjoyed any of my videos, make sure to like it and then comment telling me your thoughts on the video, what you like, what you want to see and stuff like that. If you don't like it, thumb it down and comment telling me what you don't like about it. And uh, let's start. Oh yeah, thumbs up guy also says hello. Okay. So what I'm basically going to be doing is going over every section of events like mainly what all of this is what all of this is and then what almost every thing here means every single option means but before i actually get into that I, before when you start when you start using rpg maker vs and you're making events you're going to be making like the there's shortcuts events to save time and they're like i think there are four yeah there's four one is transfer what this transfer basically do is a way for you to go from map a to map b or from point a to point b mainly to transfer between maps and then this way you don't have to um they make it for you so you don't have to you don't have to like make all of this every single time like make the play se and then set it and then do the transfer then make they put it all in one um event so you have quick access to it so they're quick access events doors again to go from map to map so instead of picking then you pick the graphics right here which door you want and where you want it to go and then they fill in the blank for you so you don't have to waste time doing that because making rpgs you make a lot of doors you also make a lot of treasure chests so they put tre um, treasure chests right there for you you pick which one you want from the treasure chest collection you can add more which i would show you guys later then you pick how much gold you want to be and you could only pick one item to be in each treasure chest although you could just set that manually inside the, inside of the event so you could pick any item from the drop down and you whip in any armor or gold and the last one is an in, which basically just you select the graphics sort of um, the graphic you want to be your NPC for the in, and then you click on how much you want you want to charge, and they fill in the rest for you. So, quick access events as I call them. Now that I've explained that, let's go in here and explain what these are. Okay, when you start when you make a new event where it says name the name you don't have to set you could just leave it and it will randomly i mean not randomly it will auto name it for you but naming it is a good idea because it helps you keep track of which event is which instead of going looking up which looking up an event just to see what it does you could just name it like npc this npc that control world something like that to help you and every time you make a new event page, you get a new tab. And each of those tabs is a page. Delete, delete. Now, conditions. Um, The first two conditions are switches. So that means this event will not show unless the switch is on. So if I have this switch one on, this event will never show up unless switch one is on and then if i have this switch also on that means this event will never show up unless event i mean switch one and switch two is on and then i could stack those or i could make them individually variables is the same thing with switches i will i will be going into details on what variables and switches are for those who don't know they're very very important in rpg maker vx and every rpg maker v it make a game so the same thing you could have all three at the same time and then when all conditions are met the event will i mean the event will show up and then self switch is like switches but a way for you not to waste switches so it's basically hold on 
so basically if you want to make it it's only attached to the individual event so if you're making like uh let's say you're making an event that runs once and you don't want to waste an um a switch to make it to just to go on to the next page you just make it like um let's say you make it say hello and then you turn on cell switch a and then go to the new page and then set it right here on cell switch a that means you only use that cell switch for this event and it doesn't waste your switches so self switches are basically switches but only for the individual event that is in that it is in item can remember all of these things could stack so items mean this event will never run or show up unless you have that item in your inventory and again it will never run the actors is the same thing with the items and like everything else they will never run unless the um actor is in your party graphics this is where you set what you want the event to look like um you make you mainly set the graphics events could be used for two reasons one's to map and the other one is well for what it's supposed to be used because then when you have it with a, when you use it for a map you could stack it on top of something from b to tau set b to tau set e because they wouldn't stack um, any other way but using an event so basically you just set a, gra um, a graphics for the event and make it what you want it to look like and then where it says autom oh, what does that say auto motions i don't i don't even know well basically it's movement like um you have four options you can make a an event fixed meaning it never moves or you can make it random meaning it just wanders around going in random places and then you can make it approach which means it's gonna come towards the player like basically chasing the player or something like that and custom you get to set i might i might yeah i'm gonna be going into details on what these this um move root thingy means but basically you could set make it make the event do, do a specific thing that you want it to do maybe walk back and forth back and forth up and down back and forth up and down make it turn right make it turn left take one step forward you can make it do a lot of a lot of um custom stuff for now let's leave this at random and then speed and frequency they're they're not the same thing what frequency means is how fast you want the character to be moved way now it's how often you want it to move so let's say this is on lowest and then and speed is basically how fast it moves so speed is how fast it goes from one tile to the next wait hold on okay the frequency is the movement cycle meaning if it's at lowest that means it's gonna take like two seconds to get from the to go to the next tile and if it's at highest it's gonna basically just move regularly so if you're making npcs it's always good to have it at like highest if you make if you like have an npc that's jogging okay frequency okay this is how i'm gonna explain it frequency is basically like if you have it on normal that's basically like taking a step like every few seconds like and then if you have it on higher that's like you walking very slow and then if you have it on actually no see it's com it's complicated speed and um, frequency because it is basically the same thing but frequency is just the cycle of it like like i can't explain it to you i guess i have to show you guys but not now let me go through some other stuff like it's very hard for me to explain speed and frequency okay priority this is simple below character is like if you're making an event like the transfer then so like it's always going to be below the character and that's ma you mainly want to use that if you're like placing a placing a gr like something like this something that the character steps on you don't want to you don't want to be using that for like a boulder or another or an npc event you don't you don't want that and then same as character means the character collides with it so that means it's this it's on the same plane as a character so the character can go 
through it. Like it can't go past it without going around it. The character has to go around it. And above character is as it says it's above, it's above the character meaning the character could go through it but then the graphics will be drawn on top of the character and below it will be drawn below the character so when okay trigger is how you want the event to be triggered action meaning you press enter or space bar you press the action button for the it's basically used if you're making like an NPC, you go up to them, you press the action button, and then it, it the event runs. Player touches once the player touches it, it runs. Like you want to be, you, you want to use this for like the transfer one. So what is below the character, and then once the character touches it, it runs the event. Like in that for that example, it transfers them to the next map. Event touch is basically like player touch, but the event touches you, but it works the same 100%. Well, not 100%, but it works the same. Auto run. Now, this is where it gets tr like most um, new people get confused in. Auto run means like it's going to run automatically. That means if you put hello, if I if you put the event hello, hello it's going to keep on saying hello 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 unless you get something to break that cycle and what i mean by something to break that cycle is basically it's going to say hello unless you make a new event page and use the self switch or one of these things to like set it so it doesn't like stay on the first page and keep on saying hello so let's say um it says hello h e l l o check up on my time this is gonna be two part because last video was too long i wanted to keep it around 12 minutes so after i'm done explaining this i'm gonna cut the video um so it's gonna say is if you run this event now it's gonna keep on saying hello 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 and if you want to break it a good way to break stuff is put up a self switch and then self switch here now it's no longer it's gonna once it says the first hello like once you enter the map it's gonna say hello and then it's gonna stop because it's gonna jump onto this one. So that's basically what auto run does. Parallel process is the same thing as auto run, but only it doesn't it doesn't stop everything just to run that. Like you, it runs in the background, but it's always gonna keep on. Like if I leave this hello, it's still gonna be saying hello, 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 but it's gonna be running in the background. But because hello is a message, it's gonna interrupt the player. But let's say I have a I have a I see I'm gonna be explaining down in this episode parallel process and then options is the what um options is basically what you want the the options you want to give the um um the event so step in animation that means the character is gonna be step turn on this so this is gonna be doing a step in animation when the event is walking step in that's walking animation step in animation is just like if the event is like still is going to be doing a step in animation even though it's not moving direction fix it means that the graphics always stay how you set it that means if it turns it's never going to turn it's always going to be facing this way and it's never going to turn this way or this way and then through means like it's a ghost effect so you could do anything it, it, it could go through anything and anything could go through it and that's it for this episode this is going to be episode this is gonna be episode three no episode four part one and i will see you guys on the next episode i mean on the next part thanks again for watching